Do you want to know how to make this smooth X-shake transition? Today I will show you how to do exactly that. Also go check out my smooth Y-shakes tutorial right above after this video. Today I will be editing our beloved Superman. Make sure to have all your clips pre-composed and adjusted before we start. Once you are ready, go to the Effects and Presets panel, then search up s -Blurmo Curves, and then apply it to your clip. To begin changing the settings, let's change Warp X to Reflect. This will just make it have a built-in motion tile without any extra problems. Next, make sure you are at the beginning of your clip and click the stopwatch for Shift X and change the value to 160. Next, go over two frames by holding Control and clicking the right arrow key. Next, put the value to negative 580. Next, jump over six keyframes and change that value to 60. Go over eight keyframes and change the value to negative 20. Next, go forward another eight keyframes and change the value down to zero. Feel free to preview it and change it to your liking if necessary. We just finished the main effect. We just need to add a couple of little touch-ups here and there to make it look super smooth. Start by adding BCC Directional Blur. But honestly, if you don't have the BCC plugin, Normal Directional Blur is fine. Next, change the angle value to 270. Now make sure you are at the beginning of the clip and click the stopwatch for blur amount and change the value to 150. Now click U on your keyboard to preview the keyframes. And from here, change that blur amount value down to zero. Now if you preview this, you see the blur is kinda a little too strong and too long, but to fix that, we are going to use graphs. No, no, calm down, I'm not gonna make you do a slope formula from the 8th grade. Just copy what I do and you'll be alright. Start by selecting the two keyframes and easy ease them by clicking the F9 command on your keyboard. Next, select one of the keyframes and click this graph icon. Now copy what I do with these two yellow lines. From here, if you preview, it should look very smooth. Now to close the graph, click on that graph icon again, and we can continue to the next step. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search up Brightness and Contrast, and apply it to your clip. Make sure you are at the beginning of the clip. Then click the stopwatch icon for Brightness, and change the value to 130. Then go to the end of the clip and change the value all the way back down to zero. By adding that little touch-up, it made the clip look a lot more cleaner and less bold. Now from here, copy the effects by clicking E and selecting all of them, then click Ctrl C. Next, go to the beginning of your next clip, select it, and click Ctrl V. From here, you can stretch the keyframes if needed to fit the clip. We finished the effect! But from here, we need to add a nice color correction so our edits don't look like someone made it on Viva Video. You can check out my free color correction video on the card above, but I will be using one of my personal color corrections. For this, I am adding a adjustment layer, and then I'm adding my clear color correction. Psst! You could find it in the link in the description. And from here, I'm just going to lower the opacity of the adjustment layer so it isn't too strong. And just like that, we completely finish the X transition effect. Be sure to check out my TikTok with all my edits and my Discord server in the link in the description. Request tutorials in the comments and subscribe if this helped you. I will see you in the next one.